Hello and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. My name's Don, and Lisa's over at the house right now. And uh, you all uh, do us a favor: click subscribe, hit the notification bell. Now would be a great time to do it. And uh, hopefully you like this video because we're going to move the chickens today for sure uh, with the Premier One fence, <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, see how that goes. And uh, y'all follow along now. At this part of the video, I have already moved the uh, telephone poles out of this area and with the Mahindra 6075 with the grapple and uh, cut them up with the chainsaw and moved them to a different spot so I can use those as fence posts. Uh, I've been playing some music so I thought I'd just come on here with the voice thing and uh, as you can see we're moving the Premier One fence and getting everything squared away with the chickens hopefully to get them moved later uh, but you know it is how it is so hopefully you don't mind this voiceover but this music and my voiceover will um, hopefully work Right there, I'm straightening out some of those fence posts. These hard ground we got is just, uh, well, it's ridiculous how trying to put in some of these things will bend the post and you go, well, when you take it out, you find out it's bent now. And I really don't know how Justin Rhodes does it when he, him and them kids jump around, stab a bunch of fence in, the next thing you know, they don't have any support posts, but Around here you have to have the uh, support post in between every one of those other posts and sometimes you'll even have to drive them in. You'll see here in a minute, I, well that one I'm fighting a rock right there, so get it moved around the rock and then it'll slide in, but kind of crazy. Yep, see, I told you I, you had to use a hammer on some of them. And another thing it does, they, they seem to have one up in the next few minutes and sometimes it takes me a long time, if not all day, to put up a fence. But it's worth it to keep the chicken safe and all that, so. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think of this music. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done a uh, voiceover bought a mic and well guess what y'all get to y'all I'm gonna punish y'all with a voiceover found a bunch of trash in the uh, video I'm over there now trying to get some uh, that chicken tractor that I had is broke and so when I was moving the other fences around I stored some of those posts in there so that's what I'm doing getting those posts out of there it was a good place to store the post but now I've got to go back and uh, rework that whole chicken tractor if not and basically it's a rebuild I might as well just really start from scratch I could probably use a bunch of uh, scrap parts out of it that I make but it's going to be a rebuild. Hopefully before winter.
Now you can see the fence down there and I stretched it out and I was going to put it in that area down that way and bring the dogs up that way but I decided not to do that. Time got away from me and I just couldn't get it going that way so I end up putting the gate up here in a minute and uh, bringing all that fence down there in the in the bottom top right hand corner there shall we say and uh, bringing it all up here and connecting it to the gate and looping it back around. Finally found my eight foot gate, so I'm gonna put it in here. That's a process all by itself. Those little commercials that Premier One Fence puts up, that where they put the gate in so quick, yeah, of course it's a four foot fence, but they must have some really soft ground because it never seems to work that fast for me. As you can tell, I had to go up and get my hammer. And good thing these all are drivable posts, but uh, yeah, they're harder to put in. I always sit there and wire tie them together, so it makes a, a much better uh, thing. They got those ties that come with them, but I don't particularly care for the way those ties hold and stuff. And, they're too long anyway, so I just wire tie them. The wire ties are cheap. The plastic ties are. So you can get them on pretty quick and it holds it real tight and strong. So Again, you got rocky ground, you got to beat those things in the ground. As you can tell, all around me is big slabs of rock and I'm actually lucky to get some of these things in where I'm putting it in, but pick the right spot, you can get them in. Leave me a comment if you think next time I should even speed up my speed up. <laughs>
forgot to turn the camera back on, so I'm about to show you the whole thing that's put together. I don't know, I'm trying to move around right here, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to walk around the fence and show you the whole perimeter of the fence. I put a gate on, I'll come up here on the in a minute and I'll show you that I've got a gate on the other side. I got a four foot gate on one end and a eight foot gate on the other end and way it makes it real handy from either coming in either side you want to come in so seemed to work out pretty good sort of uh, letting y'all see this beautiful Kentucky sunset sure does look beautiful but for some reason our chickens and stuff like that are uh, we seem to not have as many chickens like Lisa said in that last video well it sure is a hot one today and I hope you enjoyed now that we got the chickens moved, I'm sure the chickens enjoyed that, and uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed watching it uh, fast forward and all that stuff. So anyway, we're going to see if we can get this thing edited and uh, uploaded and out to y'all, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, move them in a couple more weeks and get them finally over into the barn lot where I want them. I want to winter them. And, uh, well, we got a bunch of stuff planned like that, and we'll see uh, if we can get things done around here like that. Moving chickens, dogs. I also want to move the sheep, see where we can put them. You never know. And, uh, like I said, as the beautiful sun sets through the trees, I don't know if y'all can see that uh, like I can. But anyway, no, guess you're not. But anyway, the, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, and... Um, May God bless your days the way he always does ours. And make sure you hit that subscribe and everything because it sure would help us. We need a lot of watch hours, y'all. Give us the watch hours. And like I said, may God bless your days the way he always does ours. See ya.